Hi, my name is Hannah Pugh, and I will be presenting today on Jane Addams, a social worker, educator, philosopher, and thinker. Jane Addams was born in Cedarville, Ohio in 1860 to moderately wealthy parents. Her father was a senator, which afforded her an education and stable living means. Even as a child, Jane Addams was aware of those in poverty and spent the rest of her life educating and caring for those less fortunate than her. Adams graduated from the Rockford Female Seminary and was later given a bachelor once it became Rockford Community College. Afterwards, she attended medical school, but her own medical problems led her to quit. She traveled to Europe with her friend Ellen Starr, who was destined to become her lifelong friend and partner in their most famous venture, The Whole House. While in Europe, they were exposed to a settlement house in which multicultural and multi-economic groups and people lived. They learned and they communed together. The pair returned to Chicago and bought a large house in a poor neighborhood, thus beginning the settlement house, the whole house. The whole house was a quickly evolving social experiment and practice. Based in pragmatist views, think John Dewey, the whole house was a refuge for children, men, and women of all cultures to come together and create a democratic society fueled by practical and academic learning. Adams and Starr's whole house became many things, but most importantly to its creators, it became a symbol of education for all. Education for all was a huge view of Adams. She felt that the basis of democracy was education and democracy is weaved throughout all of Adams's work and creations in her lifetime. Adam's view on education was, as I said, the basis for democracy. She believed that education should be practical, social, and foster democracy for all. Above all, Adams felt that democracy went hand in hand with diversity to create a moral obligation on society. So she felt that all members of society, no matter culture, race, status, age, had a moral obligation to provide to society and the community and create this democratic society. Unlike other pragmatists, Jane was not only the philosopher and idealist, but a practitioner. In the early years of the whole house, Adam worked with, Adams worked with John Dewey, some crediting his views on pragmatism as highly influenced and generated by conversations with the two. The two colluded together at the University of Chicago when Dewey was in the laboratory school and Adams founding the Chicago School of Civics and Philanthropy. As noted as the, by the achievements of her lifetime, Adams had a mind and heart for those that were not prospering. She dedicated her life to studying, practicing, and changing the lives of those less fortunate. One avenue she rested on was education. In education, she is credited with not only stressing democracy as the purpose for education, but work to combat child labor laws. Create a space for students to learn what they needed to learn, not just a strict curriculum, and even influenced adult education. She felt that adolescents and children were underserved in the education field and overall in the democratic society. Thus, she worked on child labor laws to assist children in getting an education. She formed the National Labor Committee, led, which led to the creation of the Federal Children's Bureau and passage of the 1916 child labor laws. She also believed in a practical and social education. This meant teaching skills such as cooking and millinery and trade schools, as well as academic subjects such as math and literature. She felt that teachers should commit to helping children where they are with what they need instead of following a strict curriculum. A quote from 20 Years at Whole House with Jane Addams. This is uh, a quote from Jane Addams. It says, the teacher in a settlement is constantly put upon his mettle to discover methods of instruction which shall make knowledge quickly available to his pupils. And I, like here, should pay my tribute of admiration to the dean of our educational department. 
So what she's saying is that she needed the teachers to meet everyone exactly where they were and immediately began to teach them what they needed to know. Thus, all the teachers not only needed to be experts in their fields and various fields, but they also needed to be able to identify the problems of each student. Adams helped bridge the gap between industrial society and social society. Critiques of Jane Addams uh, from the time were that she was a radical feminist uh, and that her talks on peace were seen as too far and unable to mesh with current society. My critique of Jane Addams is that she actually had the right idea. Um, I am a social worker in my bachelor's degree and I spent time doing social work before moving to teaching and I believe in that ecological view and the view of democratic society and that everyone needs to be a part of society and we're all working towards that not utopian but all encompassed everyone's doing what best is best for everyone in society. So this was a brief presentation on Jane Addams. Um, and I hope that you were able to learn as much as I learned creating this presentation. Thank you.